Hi, I'm Jonathan Metter and we're here in Pico America's Service Department and today we're going to talk about power. You know, power really hasn't uh, changed a whole lot since the 1950s. Uh, whether it's got a transformer built in or it's just a separate throttle that requires a transformer, you're basically turning a knob up and down and one direction or the other. Uh, that hasn't changed much for good old DC analog track power. But I'm here with some news of something that is different. Talking today about the Pico RC system, and this is our new RC analog track power supply. And this, I think, for a lot of you, may be a great revolutionary way to run your trains, uh, where you don't have to uh, run back to the, the control panel and turn a knob to start and stop and control your trains, but you can do that uh, wirelessly as you walk around your layout. And especially if you have a good size layout, that's a, that's a big feature. So this is the new Pico 35028, which is our analog track power system. It supplies uh, 4.5 amps to the track and also can put out up to 2 amps to accessories. And the combined total of those can be uh, up to 5 amps. It comes with a 5 amp transformer that plugs into your wall. Uh, that connects into the RC controller right here and this if you're familiar with the old throttle this looks familiar to you uh, but there's no knob on it and it has outputs for the red and blue for the track power and the yellow and brown for accessory power and it all comes in this nice little convenient box uh, and it's pretty simple to use uh, it comes with a little remote we call it this uh, pocket remote and this works by RC radio, not by infrared, so it's good for your garden railroad as well. Uh, it's not going to be affected by daylight or darkness. And it has up to about uh, 80 foot range. Some people have even reported a little more than that, but that's very reliable. Uh, of course, if you're in a concrete bunker, that's going to affect, uh, <laughs> affect things, but uh, you should find 80 feet to be a reliable range uh, for the RC. Uh, you don't have to point it at anything or uh, doesn't have to be line of sight, uh, so can work all around your layout basically. And we can demonstrate how simple it is. Uh, there's four buttons on the remote, and you have a, an up arrow and a down arrow. Basically, that's that's forward and reverse. Uh, of course, depending on which way you hook the wires up to your track, it may be reverse and forwards, but you can easily solve that by uh, turning the wires around. And then you have two accessory buttons, uh, and on the 35028 that controls. Uh, accessory power uh, with button number one and number two is an emergency stop that kills the track power uh, within about one second uh, for uh, for your locomotives that are on the track so it's pretty simple to use we press press and repeatedly or you can hold the button down either way and that's you control the the locomotive by speed steps and it gives you pretty good control very fine control and uh, of course we'll go a lot faster than this but uh, we don't want to run off the table here and we can also at the same time control an accessory light uh, that could be house lights or building lights uh, power to your switches anything like that and we can see here with the emergency stop that it will kill the power to the track uh, within about a second and that's it's not instantaneous it does gradually drop it down over about a second. And that's to protect the gears in your locomotive from getting stripped if you really uh, stop that suddenly. That's not good for the gear train. But I think you'll find it to be a fantastic uh, new way, simple way to control your trains. Uh, this will work with any trains. Uh, we've, we've tested it extensively with our Pico locomotives with decoders. Works great. Uh, other brands of trains as well. So any DC powered uh, trains uh, take out that old old uh, power supply and replace it with a nice new Pico RC analog track power supply. Enjoy running trains.